Good morning, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny again. I know I made a video yesterday on my Jonathan Edwards collection. And uh, that was a Saturday morning. And it's now Sunday morning here in West Michigan. It is February the 6th. It's a Sunday morning. It's 9.30. I'm down the lower level. And this is a new week, so I thought <coughs> I've been mentioning oh several videos, maybe a couple of videos that I it was a, a week ago. I don't remember, at least a week ago, that my wife and I we went to the Blue Stockings Bookshop here and where we live, and uh, my wife is going to take some books in for in-store credit and. Uh, of course I had to go because I'm always curious about what people are always bringing in used books into blue stockings uh, boxes of stuff and I'm always curious of what has come into the store I got an email from the, the woman who runs blue stocking that they are expanding their store so they're going to have more books in the future so I'll probably be going more often because they're always getting new stuff. So I went with my wife and Blue Stockings had gotten, I, I mentioned in a video that the woman who runs Blue Stockings had gotten a phone call from a woman who, who had lost her husband who was a professor of humanities who was from Argentina and she wanted she didn't want money for the books. She just wants somebody to come and haul them all away. And as I mentioned, a lot of the books were in... The, the guy spoke several different languages. And, and there were books in French and books in Italian and Spanish. And But there were all these tables of books that, that were just scattered everywhere through the, in the store. And I went through them to see what I could find to add to my collection. Uh, I didn't get that many things not, as you all know, I de-hauled. I went through my library last summer and got rid of a couple thousand books and <laughs> and uh, I won't go into that, but I'm just going to show you, make this video short. I'm not going to go into these books. I'm just going to show them so I can, I have a whole pile of, of used books I bought from the, uh, the Book Nook, the library used bookstore. I'll show those in another video, but this video is just showing you the books I got at the Blue Stockings Bookshop here in Holland, Michigan. And I, I, I got most of these books for in-store credit, and I paid, I think, $27 out of these books. But I'm just going to show them. I'm not going to go into them. I'm just going to show them, and, and, and that's what I'm going to do. So here it goes. I got the Secular Journal of Thomas Merton by the author of Steeds of Contemplation. This journal, this journal starts in Greenwich Village, moves to Cuba, returns to Stone of Bonaventures in Harlem, and ends at the threshold of Gethsemane. Gethsemane is where Merton wound up as a Trappist monk, very famous. This is his Secular Journal. As you all know, I collect Thomas Merton. And then I got this little book, Open Life, Joseph Campbell, Conversation with Michael Toms. As you all know, I collect the writings of Joseph Campbell. Uh, I just find him interesting. I was reading him when I was in comparative religion when I was really young. And I have a big stack of his works. So, um, these are poems by St Stephen Mollard, poems translated by E.F. McTyre. I think he was a leading poet of the French symbolism. Mollard has exercised enormous influence both on French and on English and American avant-garde writers. I just... I come across him, and these are his poems. I came across them when I was reading somebody recently. I can't remember, but look at that. Uh, 
This is Wallace Stigner. I've never seen this. I have almost all his writings, but I've never seen this one. This is called uh, Second Growth. Uh, from what I gather, it's a novel. It has nice graphics in it. It has a bookmark from Powell's Books. And uh, I've never seen this before, but University of Nebraska, Nebraska Press. So I got that from my Wallace Stigner or Stagner collection. This was not in the, st this was on the shelves. This was not in the professor's, but this was on the shelf and I, I bought it called Decadent Societies by Robert M. Adams. The reason why I got that, there's a chapter on here on uh, what was called oh, there's a chapter in here let me look at it. yeah I don't know um, anyway it just looked interesting To, it says here in Decadent Societies, to explore this question, distinguished critic and scholar Robert M. Adams examines the demise of five once powerful cultures, the Eastern and Western Roman Empires, the 18th century France, the Ro Romanovs of pre-communist Russia. That's what interests me. The, the Romanovs of pre-communist -commun Russia and the British Empire, so Decadent Societies. So. I have two volumes of, this is Boaz, Selected Poems. I have over there his fiction. Uh, this is in the, the series. I didn't have this one. You know, I'll show, wait a minute, I'll show them to you. See, I had, I had these, and then I got this one in that professor's collection. See. So this is his selected poems and I had his collected fictions and I had his selected non-fictions. So now I have three of them. There could be a fourth volume but I don't know. This is uh, Sir Richard Burton who translated out of Arabic uh, 100, how's it go? Uh, the Book of Arabian, The Knights of the Arabian Nights. What's it called? I have it down there. I can't remember. Anyway, he translated uh, Knights of the Arabian Nights, 100 Knights of the Arabian Nights, something like that. I can't remember. But this is his book translated out of Arabic by Sir Richard Burton, The Perfume Garden of, I can't pronounce it, but The Classic Arabian Treatise on Physical Love. <laughs> so, I have three biographies on Sir Richard Burton and I have, what is that thing called? The Book of the Thousand Nights and Night, the complete Burton translation of the complete Burton notes. This is on, I got this at Salvation Army a couple, couple years ago. The Book of the Thousand Nights and a Night, Volume 1 and 2. Anyway, he translated, it's a big, huge, massive work, but anyway, this is his the perf perfume garden by this guy. I don't know. And then I, I had this book already, but I must have dehauled it, but it's called The Goodly Goods, A New History of the Renaissance by Lisa Jardine. I had this cataloged in my library thing, but I don't see it on my shelves anywhere. But now I have another copy of it. And then I picked up 
Crowded with Genius, Scottish Enlightenment, Edinburgh's Moment of the Mind by James Burkhan. Is it James Burkhan? I like reading about the Enlightenment and philosophical movements. This is comedy. These are two essays or a Laughter by Henry Bergson, an essay on comedy by George Myrna. Myrna. This is Tacnus on Brittany and Germany, a translation by H. Mattingly. Just a little thing, a Penguin classic, really old. <laughs> This is another Penguin classic, Asephophon, the Persian ex Expedition. I'm probably butchering these names, but I picked this up. It's not underlined, it's pretty old, but I picked it up from my history collection. This is another Penguin classic, Erhard and... It's by Two Lives of Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Translated with introduction by Lewis Thorpe, Ehard and Nocter the Staminer, Staminer, something like that. So yeah, I got this Penguin Classics. This is uh, the Hellenistic World by E. W. Wallbank. Hellenistic World. Just little history things for my history collection. I had this book already. This is Our Paris by Edmund White and Herbert Chardin. Sketches from memory. It's like a memoir. I collect the writings of Edmund White and I already had it. So I'll take this to the book nook. This is a novel by Andrea Camleri. Cam Camleri? I can't pronounce his name. But he did a whole series of on a detective that I collect, and this is a novel of his. I didn't know he did separate novels. This is called The Brewster of... The Brewer of Preston. The New York best-selling author of the Inspector Montabano series. So I picked this up. This is Venice Observed by Mary McCarthy. I collect her writings. I I have them all over the place here. I have one over here somewhere. Uh, and I must have put it somewhere. But anyway, I collect the writings of Mary McCarthy. This is the coast of Bohemia. It's like a travel a uh, travel memoir was published in... When was this first published? Published in 1950 in England. This is by Edith Pergetter. Per, per, Pergetter? I like travel memoirs. This is uh, Renaissance Self-Fashioning from Moore to Shakespeare by Stephen Greenblatt. He did a book, uh, Will in the World, How Shakespeare Became Shakespeare. And this is another book of his. I didn't know he did this book, but uh, it looked interesting, so I grabbed it. Renaissance Self-Fashioning from Moore to Shakespeare by Stephen Greenblatt. And then I picked up Extraordinary Popular Delusions and the Madness of Crowds by Charles McKay. This is an older book. It was first published in the 19th century in the 1840s. And this is a reprint. It just has Extraordinary Popular Delusions and Madness of Crowds. Uh, it just looks interesting. So I got this. 
And then I found this Mark Twain book, The Hidden Mark Twain, a collection of little known Mark Twain, Tom Sawyer Abroad, Tom Sawyer De Detective, The Stolen White Elephant, The 100 Million Banknote, Other News Stories, it just for my Mark Twain collection, the hidden Mark Twain. So those are the books I picked up. Nothing really, you know, that blew my mind, but things I collect that I can take this to the book nook and add to my history collection and my Penguin Classic collection and, and uh, books on literary criticism, books on the Enlightenment in England and Scotland and America, and uh, books on the Renaissance. I have a whole history sh bookcase over there. Sir Richard Burton, <laughs> The Perfume Garden of the Shaka name. I don't know how you pronounce that. But. And The Decadent Gar Decadent Societies by Robert M. Adams. Added add to my Wallace Stagn Stigner collection, Second Growth. It's a novel. Poetry by this French symbolist poet. Add to my Thomas Merton collection, the Secular Journal, Thomas Merton. And add to my Joseph Campbell collection. Just thing I just collect. And of course, Boreas selected poems to go with the other three I have of him. So that's it. I don't think there's anything else. I might have put books away that I got, but I don't think so. I just want to show these Blue Stockings bookshop, book haul. This morning I'm still reading Jonathan Edwards on deification. This morning I ordered two books on Jonathan Edwards <laughs> and two books that just to add to my Jonathan Edwards collection. Writing on my diary this morning I'm on page 121 for the year 2022. So yeah. So I hope you have a good reading week. I'll probably do the book the book nook use book haul sometime this week. I got books I have I also have gotten books in the mail lately. Uh, like I got this book in the mail the other day. Uh, Very Queer Family Indeed, Sex, Religion and the Bentons in Victorian England by Simon Goldhill. I got this book in the mail the other day. I collect the writings of Benson and uh, I just wanted to find out more, more about his family and some background. And uh, that's it. I suppose I'll just close. I hope you had a good weekend. Hope you have a good new reading week. If you got any questions about any of these books that you see in my videos. One thing that people think that when they see my videos that I read all these books. Five years ago when I started BookTube, I described myself as a book collector. And people thought that all I do is collect books and I don't read. Well, I'm a reader. I read all the time, but I don't read from cover to cover. I just, I enjoy the activity of reading, immersing myself in a book and I read, like I said, I read primarily Christian literature in the mornings and, at, and up into the afternoons. But I, I love biographies, I love memoirs, essays, short stories. I like literary fiction, I like early, early modernism and I like reading uh, all kinds of books. But as you all know, I read the Holy Bible. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian bookworm. And sometimes people, the point is that people will see a book and they'd say, well, when you finish reading it, tell me about it. Well, 
a lot of the books I show in my videos I don't read. Well, I don't get around to reading it until sometime in the future. I just like collecting books by writers and subjects and uh, like anything by Borges I collect. Now, will I ever read these? I don't know. I want to. That's why I didn't dehaul them. And uh, I have read a lot of Thomas Merton over the last 40 years. And, but some things I'll never get around to reading. But I just like having these books around me so I can pick up and read them when I feel in the right mood or state of being or mind. But um, so, yeah. So don't think that I'm going to read all these books. Uh, I read all the time. I've been reading. I'm a, I'm a bookworm. I'm a reader. I love to read. I love words. I, I write all the time in my, in my diary. And I, I, I live in the world of books and words and diaries and it's just how, how, how I am. I'm not really into anything else. I'm not into hunting. I'm not into skydiving. I'm not into collecting stamps. I'm not into a lot of things. I'm just into books. And I'm a Christian, so I'm into good Christian literature, and I read the Bible. I've been a Christian 52 years, I'm going to be 70 years old this year, and I just love to read, and I love to collect books, use books. I don't buy that many new books. If I bought this book, I bought used. It goes for 35. I got it for 16. I got this book on sale, even though it was new. So anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you have a good new week. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. Just thank you for being out there and do pray that you would be safe, that you would be get vaccinated, wear a mask, practice social distancing, wash your hands, and and pray. Pray that the Lord would be with us throughout this new week and that we would be walking in fellowship and communion with Him and seeing something of the Lord Jesus Christ's glory and divine beauty and tasting the sweetness of His grace and mercy and love. Until next time, bye.